As we look for ways to lower our electric bills and improve home energy efficiency, decentralizing electric power is something we can do to reduce our personal energy consumption and carbon footprint. Home solar, wind power and even bicycle generators can make for a more efficient home, as you rely less on grid-fed power. So, the question is, can you really power your home with a bicycle generator? And the short answer is, no. According to my personal electricity consumption, my average kilowatt-hour consumption from March to October is between 100 to 200 kilowatt-hours per month, and in cold periods from November till February, my kilowatt-hour consumption is somewhere between 250 to 400 kilowatt-hours per month. So let's make a math on how many kilowatt-hours can you create with your bicycle generator per day. Let's take a pro cyclist, the maximum they do is around 400 watts per hour, so that's 0.4 kilowatt hours per hour. But a beginner cyclist can produce around 100 watts per hour and some fit cyclists can produce up to 200 watts per hour which is 0.2 kilowatt hours per hour. For a fit cyclist it can take more than 5 hours of cycling in order to produce 1 kilowatt hour and of course there is a loss of energy when the power is converted from the wheel to the generator, but let's put that aside. If you are active cyclist then riding a bike for 5 hours may not be that exhausting and at the end of the day you will have something to show off, besides the health benefits from the cycling. But before you jump on your bicycle, let's see what you can do with 1 kilowatt hour per day. It varies a lot between appliances, some are more energy efficient than others. Here are some estimated examples of what might use 1 kilowatt hour. 1 running an electric shower for 6 minutes. 2. Cooking in an oven for 30 minutes. 3. Running a dishwasher for less than an hour. 4. Keeping a fridge freezer on for about 3 hours. 5. Watching a 42 inches TV for 12 and a half hours. 6. Keeping an electric blanked on all night. 7. Using a laptop all day. 8. Toast 160 slices of bread. 9. Run your ceiling fan for 20 hours. 10. Blend 200 smoothies. 11. Microwave 21 frozen burritos. 12. Keeping a broadband router on for 5 days. Pretty cool, but there are also other alternatives which are less exhausting for beginner cyclists. For example, there is a manual washing machine that can be hooked to your bicycle tire and when you pedal the washing machine spins and wash your clothes. For this you usually need around 20 to 30 minutes with an easy pedaling strokes. So now that you know the average watt production for a beginner, average and pro cyclist, is it worth pedaling at home and save energy or it's simply not worth it? Please leave a comment below with your thoughts. Till next time, bon voyage.